Have you ever asked the question, they are the perfect boyfriend, girlfriend, but? <laughs> well, that's the topic we're going to talk about here on Relationship Thursday. Hi, this is Ron Simplified Myers, author of the book, The Relationship Success Handbook, Get Rid of Your Problems, Not Your Partner. Whenever I hear people have a conversation and they throw the word but, we already know there's issues. Um, because we know everything a person says before but is the build up uh, to make everything sounds good before I tell you exactly what's really on my mind. And so I've heard this topic a lot recently, uh, it's asked a lot, and it's amazing to me that so many people are having this concern. And it's the perfect, the person, and it, it's been ladies that have actually been, been talking about it, so... Um, but you know with me, like I said, everything goes both ways. But they're asking when they're with this guy, he is the perfect gentleman. He's, he, he makes them feel like they're the most important thing in the world. I mean, he's just perfect boyfriend. And they're using the word boyfriend. But when they're not together... And one young lady was even talking about the fact that he doesn't like to text. He doesn't like to talk on the phone. And his justification for all of this is because he's more of a private, lonely person. I mean, a uh, person that likes to spend a lot of time alone. And that's his justification. Now, you know, when I first heard that immediately, I'm like, is this really a question? Is this really a thought process that you're asking? And this is supposedly your boyfriend? He's not spending time with you. and But when he's with you, he's a great person. But uh, it's when you're not together, you feel like you're alone and, and that you don't really have a boyfriend. Well, I'll tell you, back in the days when I was out there acting a fool myself, I was raised by nine women. Well, my sister gave a little input, but she was, she's a year younger than me. So basically 10 women all the way to the age of nine who were giving me a lot of input on how to treat women. And so for me, I've learned about how to treat a lady correctly. So if I'm with you, I am going to make you feel like you're the world because that's the way I've been brought up. So that's kind of how I was in the dating when I was out there dating but if you're using that to, to, to decide on whether I'm your boyfriend or whether I'm a great person. You guys know I talk about character and integrity. And if a person has great integrity, he's going to treat you well. I ain't necessarily saying character if he's out here playing games, but that's up to you to decide that. But when I first hear, heard that and, I, and I've heard ladies say it consistently, I'm just amazed personally that it's a question and this is really what it comes down to before I jump on the way I feel about it because for me there's not an if answer but boot you know but you have to decide this for yourself and everyone has to but the major thing you have to decide remember we talking about creating a list deciding what it is that you want figuring out your path if you know what you're looking for and this person is not fulfilling that because folks the worst thing in the world is to believe that if I get in a relationship, I'll be happy. And then to be in a relationship and not be happy? Wow. You're talking about a person being messed up because it's like now where do you turn? You thought the, the relationship was, was going to make your life well. And again, that's why you hear me saying it's about getting you together, getting your life together, because then you're not looking for a relationship to do that. But I'm just saying, but as a person, if you are doing that and you're looking for a relationship to make you happy, and then you get in a relationship and you're not happy, that can lead to depression. depression. And so, but anyway, for me, this, this, this whole topic comes down to a couple of videos I just did on a, a, a video series that I just created and I'm putting out for sale, but... Um, it addresses a bunch of them, really, but two of the main ones that it, it hits right off the top is when I've heard the analogy when there's people to say, why mess up your happiness because they cheated? <laughs> ah, uh, that's amazing to me. It's like, uh, so you don't care what they do as long as they treat you well. Because basically that to me is what you're saying is what you do outside, as long as you take care of me, I'm good. 
if, if folks, again, to each his own, if you're okay with that, that's cool. I'm not here to tell you good, bad, right, or wrong. For me, character and integrity is everything. If you got bad character, then I don't want to personally have anything to do with you. Um, and I shouldn't put it like that, but you're not going to be a person that I'm hanging out with. You can come around me, don't get it wrong. This is not a judgy, like I've told you. People have to walk their own path, and that's cool. But I like to know about your character and integrity so I'll know if we are going to be hanging out together. But anyway, and then the other one that really pops into my head is uh, the red flags and deal breakers. Folks, that to me is one of the biggest red flags, deal breakers I could think of. I mean, if it's that easy just to tell you that I'm, I'm just more of a private individual and that's why I'm not texting you, that's why I'm not calling you, and you're going for it? See, again, this is what I always keep teaching. How do you feel about yourself? Because that's what it's all about. When you understand your value and your worth, you know you deserve to have someone who is willing to put the time and effort and treat you like a princess all the time, not only when they're with you. Not only, you know what I'm saying? Only when it's convenient because they in your presence. But they show you that all the time that they're actually caring. And that, and you only set those kind of standards when you value the person that you see in the mirror. When you know your worth, this is not even a conversation. Because if he's not doing all the other stuff, and that's really what this comes down to. What are you looking for? Ask yourself that question. What do you want out of a relationship? And if they're not doing it, and especially if you're only in the dating stage... This is not even a hesitation. Don't, when the red flags pop up, you can, if you want to try and, and get through those, which personally for me, I told you red flags uh, means stop, means go the other way and quickly run. But if you want to stay there, you got to see that they're willing to make the adjustments, that they're willing. And so in other words, they may be making decisions that you don't agree with right now and you draw it to their attention. And maybe they didn't know or they didn't understand that, you know, or because they really like you, they're willing to make those adjustments, which, again, is dangerous. Because like I told you, if people change for you and not for themselves. Eventually, the old will, the old them will come back, and that includes the cheating. So if somebody has stopped cheating because just because of you, folks, it's only time before they're going to cheat, even if you get married to them. It's only time before they're going to cheat again. Why? They have to make the shift in their thought process, and cheating has to become something that's not an option to them. As long as it's an option, your relationship is on shaky grounds until they make that shift. And so, but anyway, in this case, figure out what you're looking for. Again, this is about loving the person in the mirror. Get You create the list, like I've told you before, you, you know, but for me, like I said, the list means it's helping me see myself. If I put all these things down, what I'm looking for in a partner, it helps me see, am I doing the things that I'm asking of my partner? And if I'm not, I need to make the adjustments. Because I can tell you, in almost every single case, and I haven't seen an exception, where if you make a list, there's a whole bunch of adjustments you have to make in order to attract that person. So you can create the list, but again, it's for you. And then, if they're not headed where you're headed, to me, this is a very simple question. Um, and for the young ladies that are sitting there and talking about what should I do? I don't try to badmouth the guy or the lady. Remember, I told you both ways. It's because this is not about them. It's the same thing you guys have heard me say in the past when I had, you know, people tell me help their partner, help their friend or cousin or whoever out of a relationship. I'm like, why? That person's not the problem. The person they're with is not the problem. Your friend, your cousin or whoever it is. And sometimes you, and you use your cousin as the example. That's where the issue is, not them. Because when you get you together and you value you, you'll get rid of that person. That's why for me, I'm never going to try to attack your partner. Instead, I'd rather build you up and help you understand your value and your worth. That's why, again, why we have Self Love Monday, because that's about loving you. Because when we get that taken care of, we ain't got to worry about this question or anything else when you're dealing with knuckleheads. 
because you will set them free. Does that make sense? So as you guys know, again, hopefully, ladies that are asking that question and you're concerned on whether, you know, just because he's a perfect boyfriend or a perfect girlfriend, but, like I've told you, but relationships are about acceptable, what's acceptable, and unacceptable. If they're doing something that's unacceptable, that means it's against your values, your morals, your beliefs. If they're doing something like that, unless you're more of, unless you got some stuff that was messed up in your mind and you actually need to change because it's actually in your best interest to change. I'm not talking about those because sometimes we have we wired up messed up too and we do need to make some adjustments. But I'm saying if you got your morals, your beliefs and stuff in check and they're good stuff and they're going against that, cut them off. That's the red flags, the deal breakers. Don't go against those. I'm telling you now because you'll be visiting a, a counselor and hopefully not a marriage counselor, but that's where most people end up because they don't nip it in the butt when it's presented. So as you guys know, it ain't right. It ain't wrong. It is my opinion. I look forward to talking to you on Self Love Monday. For those of you who are looking uh, to make sure we love that person in the mirror, I'll see you on Monday. If not, I look forward to talking to you again on, uh, on Thursday for Relationship Thursday. But value you. That's what this is all about. Learn to value you. And this other questions about other people will disappear without input from me or anyone else. I'll talk to you guys later. Take care. Enjoy the journey. Bye-bye.